Russia versus Australia. Best three out of five. Come on, boy, Blue. What's going on, guys? Uh, I thought I would do a little bit of a review of uh, myself and Adam Taranenko the last time we pulled uh, the bottom eight in Canada some, what, 2018 it was? I think so, well, five years ago almost now. And, um, yeah, I thought we'd have a look at the match, talk a little bit about it. Uh, I've seen a few people make comments about who's the favorite, who's got the strength, who's got the endurance, what's evolved since then. Uh, I'll tell you what I was thinking when I went through the match. But anyway, let's first have a look at the match. Go, Ryan! Go! Center on the table! Center on the table! Bottom eight! It's in the hook! We are deep inside that hook! Okay, so there you have it. So that was the bottom eight final. Uh, I got the win. Three to zero over Adam Taranenko uh, in, in a manner that I was happy with at the time. Adam had what I thought was a better draw at the time. He um, he beat um, Juji Mufu in his round before. I had the uh, five-round screamer with Evan Burgoyne where I won that one three to two. Uh, Adam had more... Fuel in the tank when we go to that match. Uh, I've always looked at Adam as though he's somebody that is kind of like a slightly shorter, slightly lighter version of myself. I actually think we have a very similar style. Uh, Well-rounded, can top roll, can hook, can press, can defend, can go on attack. Very intuitive in the setups. He's um, very similar to myself in the way that he comes to the table. So I, I, I knew that going into the match... And I knew that I should be able to get the job done. I was patient. It turned out I had better endurance than him. And that was the thing. My, I didn't have the, the peak force to just pin him. You could see that I, I, I surged. It didn't happen. Um, but I had to wait it out. And he kind of crumbled after sort of the 10 to 15 second mark, which was nice at the time. Now, when I think about this match coming up uh, that he and I will have, it's uh, I think it's going to be a similar story. Obviously, Four and a half, five years ago, whatever it was that we faced, a lot has changed since then. Uh, a lot of gains have been made. Uh, we're different beasts. The Adam today would crush the Adam back there. The Ryan today would crush the Ryan back there. But we don't know. Have we all progressed at a similar level? Has what someone made a particular big step forward? We'll find out. But the cool thing is, I think the match, as you see, stylistically... Uh, will be balanced. I think the match should look pretty similar again. I can't see anyone getting an easy victory. I can't see Adam uh, ripping through my arm, nor can I see me ripping through his. I think it will be a control and squeeze and bleed, and uh, the lanes will be dictated by uh, probably Adam, who's going to be trying tricks up his sleeve, and I'll be looking to contain him, control him, and pin him. Anyway, I just thought I'd put this one out there because a lot of people haven't seen this match. And a lot of people haven't uh, uh, seen the way that Adam and I bounce. So AWE2, it's going to come up. Adam's going to be here in Australia. We're going to throw down once again. And uh, yeah, let me know which way is going to go.